Hey everyone, Jennifer Duclair, the Bar Exam Mentor. I'm here to ensure that you can pass this bar exam and build a lawyer life that you're absolutely in love with. We're diving deeply into the topic of how to study as a retaker versus a first time taker. There are huge differences between the two and how you study if you're in one category versus the other. These differences can make or break your next bar attempt. So please pay attention as we cover this. This video is going to be geared towards retakers because there is a huge body of information on how to study as a first timer. That's not an issue. If you want to refine your approach as a first timer, then something like Bar Exam Ready will be helpful to help you identify where you want to spend the majority of your study time to get the maximum learning benefit and retention capacity. But if you're retaking the bar, we need to talk. You cannot approach the bar exam like a first timer. You're not a first timer. So going and studying from scratch as if you've never learned the material before, it's just not smart. It takes a lot of time, it's demotivating because you're either zoning out, you're not paying attention because duh, no challenge to the brain. Your brain cannot stay engaged without challenge. You need a, a, a certain mixture, a formula, if you will, of mastery and challenge. So you have enough skill and yet it's just a little bit outside of your skill range. So you got to reach for it in order to master it. So skill meets challenge. Now you're engaged and you're focused and you're motivated and you're actually feeling like you're doing something. When you're reviewing from scratch as if you're a first time taker, but you're not a first time taker, there's no challenge there. So it makes complete sense that you would zone out. Okay. Okay. Another reason why you would zone out is if you're not studying in a way that is suited to your brain. Again, Bar Exam Ready helps you to resolve those issues. So if you're a retaker, you do not want to study from scratch as if it's the first time. That's point number one. Point number two, you do want to understand how your brain prefers to study because that is going to inform your next steps. The way that you're going to study from here on out is going to be more of a um, review meet scientific theory of testing refinement approach. You are going to review, but it's going to be through the act of testing your knowledge in some way, whether it be, and side note, the examples I'm about to give to you are highly dependent on how your brain prefers to learn and study material. So I'm going to throw out examples of how to do this, but you need to take it upon yourself to find out which one of these examples applies to you so that you'll be maximizing the time that you spend studying. Okay. So if you are a retaker and you're not doing the whole study from scratch thing, but you're doing the uh, testing your knowledge and refining process, you're going to test your knowledge and refine your approach. This is how you're going to do it. Maybe you will brain dump. Brain dumping allows you to recall everything that you possibly can recall about a topic. I'm talking you're doing torts and Paul's graph comes to mind. Write it down. Like everything, just dump it on the paper. It does not need to be a systematic, beautiful chart or a, a little thing with the spokes. And it doesn't need to be any of that. It just, just throw it on there like you're throwing paint at a canvas, okay? Everything that could come to your mind about the subject, dump it. It's called a brain dump. I used to say mind map. And it was very misleading because it made people think that it was some pristine work of art. Brain dump, just dump it, okay? Whether it is on your large mirror, sliding glass door with the dry erase marker, or you get one of those big, huge, like, post-it type notes. Big, huge, like half your body big. Write down everything you could possibly think about that subject. Once you've dumped it all to begin with, now you go back and you start connecting with lines all the different subjects that are kind of related to each other, and one thing leads to another, somehow they're connected to you anyway, right? Who cares what the outline says? To you. Finally, 
as you're connecting these things, you may remember some other things that didn't make it down on there and you fill it in. When I do it, sometimes I fill in something and then realize I had actually written it down, but I was in such a stream of consciousness state while I was brain dumping that I wasn't even aware of what all I had written down. But this just goes to show how much of that topic is already in my mind. This is the testing of the knowledge thing. Then the next step is to refine. I compare it to my outline and I see where the gaps are. Maybe I'll go over a particular sub paragraph in the outline and realize that it did not make it onto my mind map. Now I know to highlight, do whatever I need to do to go back and review that subsection um, later, either in my second half of today's study session or my next study session that covers this topic. And this is what I would do one way of refining, testing my knowledge and refining my approach. Another way of doing this is to actually do practice questions, not with the goal of evaluating yourself, like, oh, you know, how I would do on the exam, but with the goal of, again, bringing out your knowledge. So answer 50 questions about the subject. Even if it's your first time passing over this subject, and we talk about how to get three passes per subject done in six weeks or less, plus have time for your um, hardcore practice time, which is like the whole study session is going to be practice, practice, practice. No time spent in the learning mode anymore. We teach you how to get all that into a comprehensive six-week prep. So if you need direction on how to do that, then look below bar exam ready. It's going to be linked below. It'll give you all that. What I'm giving right now is a question that came up from people who have bar exam ready and they're using it. And they're like, you know, it, it makes complete sense to not study like a first timer. So if I'm not going to spend my first pass of the subject reading the outline or listening to the eight hour lecture, what am I going to do? And this is the, the response that came up for them and that I'm sharing with you. So you would do things like brain dumping and seeing where the gaps are. Answering multiple choice questions, 50 question block, what's that, two hours? Give yourself a break and then go back over it and see what you got right, what you got wrong, the ones that you got wrong. Identify why you got those wrong because it might not be because you don't know it. It could be because the dog barked. So identify why you got those wrong and now you know where your gaps of knowledge are then you know what to go study. This is how you keep from studying from scratch. Um, and so those would be the two main methods that I would give you if you wanted to move away from the, you know, studying from scratch, you know, uh, approach and do something that's more targeted, scientific-like, uh, and faster and more efficient because you are zeroing in right away on where the gaps are at the same time, refreshing your memory on what you already know, thereby taking care of two things in one go. Now, your subsequent passes, again, if you don't know about doing multiple passes over each subject leading up to your bar exam, then you definitely want to hop into bar exam ready. It will show you how you can cover each single topic that will be tested on your exam at least three times before your exam. This is what maximizes retention, making sure that you don't forget anything by the time you get to your exam. You'll remember the majority of the information as easily as you do your phone number when you follow the process that we teach you in Bar Exam Ready. But when it's your first pass, if you're not a first time taker, you certainly do not need to sit through lectures or read entire outlines. You can employ one of these methods or some of the other methods that are suggested inside Bar Exam Ready and use that instead to both refresh the memory that you already have, because the, the stuff is back there somewhere. You studied it, it ain't go anywhere. Refresh your memory and at the same time, seek out the gaps of knowledge that truth be told, you, you didn't study it much back then, you zoned out back then. And now you're actually seeing the documentation of the fact that I need to study that. I totally missed that the last time I took the bar. Now you're seeing it in black and white on paper, and now you know exactly what to go study. This is how we master two to four hour study days instead of eight to 10 hour study days. This is how you're able to crunch it down to two to four hours. Combination of using this testing your knowledge plus refining your approach method and studying in a way 
with the strategies that fit for your brain. If you can take these two components, and there's a third component, it, it's explained in Bar Exam Ready, but this video is already getting too long. If you can get the components that we present to you and combine them, we combine them for you, right? If you apply that, you can easily see how your study sessions are now truncated to two to four hours. Now, the suggestions that apply to you highly depend on you knowing how your brain likes to take in information. So please, like this is the big disclaimer on this video and on any other video that's like study strategy related. Just because I'm teaching you how to implement that strategy doesn't mean that it's the best strategy for you unless you know that this is how your brain likes to take information and this is one of the recommended strategies for your type of brain's learning preference. If you know that, then yeah, by all means, listen to the strategy and how I explain it and apply it. But if you don't know that information yet, I highly recommend that you find that out. And while you're at it, you might as well go ahead and find out what your study personality is because your personality will also inform how you go about your bar prep session. Some people, I won't even get into it again, study personality is a whole other school of thought, but you can get all of that comprehensively set forth for you if you dive into bar exam ready. What I wanna tell you also is that this kind of help can be given to you inside our VIP group. So once you get a hold of bar exam ready or Conqueror's Mindset Bundle, or Retake Success, any of those things, if, if you're led to purchase them, what happens is that you also get an invite into our very small, growing, but still small VIP group where I will appear with topics like this, except you get to post in the, in the group, hey, I'm such and such type of learner. This is my study personality. Um, this is what I'm looking at with bar study. What's my best approach? And you can get that support, right? And that's invaluable to be able to get your questions answered in real time, knowing that you have a real bar prep strategy in place that fits with your real life. Now, if you just graduated from law school, or you are the person who has eight to 10 hours a day to spend studying and limitless amounts of motivation, then by all means, do it the traditional way. But <laughs> this approach that I present to you is non-traditional bar prep that works. You just need a little bit of guidance to refine your specific approach so that you can get the best out of the time you have available to you. The more you refine, the more condensed your studies can be, the more you can juggle your studies with real life. Now, if you need help refining that process for you specifically, and that's how we do this, is we make it fit you, what works for your brain, your personality, your lifestyle. And when we do that, you can shrink that study time down real quick. It's when you're having a big general bar prep that includes study strategies and techniques and approaches for everybody because they don't know who you are. They're giving the same course to everybody. So they include everything for everybody and you're wasting time doing stuff that helps you no way whatsoever and stuff that actually works against your brain's natural leanings and tires you out really, really fast and discourages you. And you're so discouraged you don't even get to the stuff that would have helped you. That's when you do need eight to 10 hour study days and you still can't keep up. The trick here and how we get this studying to become a realistic, achievable affair that you can juggle with your real life is by refining it specifically to you. So if you need help with that, then check out the link below and then come join us in the VIP group on Facebook. Even if you don't like to live on Facebook, just hop in there long enough for you to get yourself your refined study approach and then go forth and be successful. See you on the other side. Bye for now.